Vivian is a wonderful daughter. She's hardworking, she's uh, determined to succeed. And among the Zang's grandchildren, I, Patricia, will say that Divian is a blessing. She has promoted the Zang's family. She has represented us well. Thank God for her life, and I pray that may God Almighty continue to guide her, preserve her, and grant her her heart desire. And among all, bless her with a right husband. <laughs> Yes, that's it. How was the dance growing up like? Wait, sorry, no introduction. Ah, uh -uh. yeah, introduce yourself. Ah, sorry. How about? Hi. Hello. Please, can you speak out loud? <clears throat> My name is Donnelly Zhang, Divian's elder sister. Mm. Divian's growing up. Um, Divian was, is, was very ambitious. She was different from her peers. I would say we never understood her. She wanted to be the best. She wanted to be first, like she was very, very different. And then maybe while her peers were playing, Divian was always inside, doing one thing or the other. And so her peers used to call her Maya, which when she was little, because she was always doing things out of the ordinary. She, she's a creative witch. She's be, ah, creative witch, thank you. I used to call her small witch. <laughs> because her, this girl, eh, forget all her coins, coins. So what was to describe this girl? Ambitious. But, but not to think crazy too is a word to use. Yeah, eh? Or she mad. is very crazy. She's crazy. No, crazy. Crazy is kind of cool. He's mad. She's madly talented. Okay, so one thing Divian said, or one thing she says. Go hard or go home. Ah, go hard or go home. Yeah. But I cannot come be myself. Outside is so good too. And I go need the urgent. My name is Emmanuel and I'm Vivian's younger brother. I don't see her like my dad. Anytime I want to remember her, I don't remember her because she's just she's just too so good. And if possible, if she could even build her house by herself, I think she would do it by herself. <laughs> what word to describe her? Yeah, I will use the word like talented. Talented? Yeah. One thing that she always say is like keep pushing and never stop. Mm. Mm. I'm Mrs. Alice. Huh? <laughs> I'm her mother. But how did you feel when she started? Out. I was surprised, very, very happy because that is her part, that's her passion. I, for one, am a person that encourages them to do what they want to do. Vivian is a very, very determined person. Whatever she says she wants to do, she push and make sure that she achieves it. And I really want to talk to parents, especially those parents that choose career paths for their children. Nigeria is not the Nigeria we used to know. You can study a course, but you will not be able to practice it. If you do what you love, you will make it in life. But if you do something that somebody forced you to do, it will not be useful to you. For Divya, I'm proud of her. I'm happy that she's doing what she loves. I'm happy that she's productive in that aspect. And I will encourage her to keep pushing until she reach the finish line. Thank you. Ready for me, back? Cause I'm ready for it. What to buy? Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is part of the interview. I love for some. Okay, that's one side one. I'm sorry. I <laughs> think. Oh yeah, you are. You are not putting this neighbor part inside it. It was God's gift to me first and foremost and it was something that I enjoyed doing since I was a child till now. So who supported you the most? Well my parents and my siblings, I'll just say the entire family. Mm -hmm. I was always acing my schoolwork. So art was an addition to it and I don't know. It, it, my parents didn't really have cause to worry. I have a connection to my art. I feel from my art, you can tell my mood. The most challenging ones are when I am actually, I don't know, depressed, heartbroken, or just not my best. And the ones that actually are more colorful 
are the ones that um, happened while I was in the best of moods. So I would like to say that my art inspires chaos and chaos inspires my art. So what does your artwork represent? It represents interaction and interactive art. You speak to the art, the art speaks to you. What so, inspires you? I think generally speaking, the things going on in life inspires me. The things going on with me, going on around me and going on within me inspires the work I'm able to bring from my head to my mind to my hands. Well, on the contrary, I think the world revolves around me. Mm. So, mm. when I speak, when I say generally speaking, I mean my world, the thing that happens around me. Like, it has to be very personal. Okay, so how do you make it? Like, how do you make your own? Like I said, first of all, it starts from the superficial stuff. Before even going to the physical things. And when I mean physical, I mean the materials I use and the medium like for production. How I make my art? First of all, I play some music. I ensure that I am giddy enough to embark on that journey because to me art is a journey. So I play some music. I look for the best place at that moment that appeals more to my mood, which most of the time is in my studio because it's white. So it's always so peaceful. And then the mediums I use are basically, I get my um, wooden frames. I get my canvas that is already primed. I get my acrylic, I get my markers, and I get my pencils, and I produce. What does your art mean to you? I feel if you take if you take art away from me, I feel that basically I would have nothing left, and that's not a derogatory statement to my person. I just mean my life revolves around art, and the fact that I have spent twenty six years of my life gathering, establishing creating, doing stuff that makes me so happy in the most artistic way possible. I think I am bonded to my art. Like I say, before I even sell them or before I put them out for purchase, I have to make sure that my art is appealing to me. And whether or not I make sales, I'm happy that I did that. I'm seeing my works. I don't know, on some days it makes me feel like I do not have limits. I can boldly tell you for a fact that the only thing I'm not able to do are the things I have not tried, right? My art shows me that I can do everything I put my heart to do. The long and short of all of this is art makes me happy and I am naturally a happy person. So taking art away from the equation, it doesn't balance me at all. Maybe I'll not see. Oh, I'll see. Sure, I'll finish me. Yeah, not see my face now. Yeah, they won't have It's not me that broke your phone. Oh. <laughs> I just call when you're down here.